Speaking at the Shangri-La Security Summit, Mattis said enforcement of U.N. economic sanctions against the DPRK would continue. Meanwhile, U.S. President Donald Trump says his meeting with DPRK leader Kim Jong-un will still take place on June 12th. CGTN's Jessica Stone has more details. Well, we are still reeling from a historic day on Friday here in Washington, D.C., the first visit of a DPRK official to the White House in almost 20 years. And unlike the year 2000, when President Bill Clinton hosted Jo myung Rock, the White House rolled out the red carpet for Vice Chair Kim young chol U.S. President Donald Trump spent more than an hour meeting with him in the Oval Office, walked him through the Rose Garden, down the colonnade, and back to his motorcade. And then the White House released several photos of Vice Chairman and Kim and President Trump exchanging the letter from Kim Jong-un as well as more inside the Oval Office of them talking together and also talking with Secretary Mike Pompeo. Uh, also, the expressions were really very far from somber, especially on Donald Trump's part. He emerged from the meeting smiling and playful, very playful with reporters, teasing them about wanting to know the contents of that letter that we later got a photograph of and telling them they'd better be ready to travel to Singapore on June 12th. Also, he really did spend some time talking about the historic nature of these talks moving forward, what's on the line for Japan, uh, for uh, the ROK, and also noting it's been nearly 70 years, he said, since the Korean War began. And remember, there's still a state of war on the peninsula. He said that, too, was on the table, uh, an end, an official end uh, to the Korean War. Trump also said he's open to officially ending it. He also said he withheld additional U.S. sanctions from being levied against Pyongyang. Uh, and that was the first we'd heard of that. Uh, but there was no clear commitment from Pyongyang to, to denuclearize on the timeline that Trump has demanded, that is to say, immediately, uh, certifiably, uh, verifiably, and irreversibly doing that denuclearization. We did not see a definitive commitment from Pyongyang on that uh, after these talks ended. Still, Trump is no longer looking for a final deal on the first meeting. He did admit it will be a process to get an agreement that has so far eluded past leaders of both the United States and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Jessica Stone, CGTN, Washington.